it, it's I guess Thailand's been one of the worst uh, stock markets really in the region of late here. I just wonder, can this election really turn things around? Yeah, um, thank you so much for having me. So normally, you know, during past election cycles have generally been positive for Thai equity market with the three months before the election. Normally set index um, rally around 3% while um, the index continue to rise around 5% one month after the election regardless of the outcome. So, you know, that's what we expect from this election that, um, and given like you mentioned earlier too, Thai market has been underperforming. So that's good, right? There's more room for Thai market to catch up after the election. And like Pat Pisham uh, mentioned earlier too, that each party um, really focus on the cash handout, which as a result, will increase uh, discretionary income to Thai population. So we expect um, that will be one of the driver to drive GDP growth for Thai market going forward. Yeah, opinion, David here, and your target for the index year end is 1720. That's, yeah, that's correct. That's about 10 percent from where we are. In fact, it erases all the losses in between, the, back to pre-pandemic levels. Uh, how did you guys come up with that number? So we use um, the 10-year average PE at around 16.3 with the 110.5 earning per share. So that's why we come up with the 1720 number for the yen target. Okay, and what sectors lead us up? Um, we think the tourism and then also consumer, um, private consumption will drive the GDP growth. And then also like the stock market, we like the consumer related theme and also the tourism related as well. So when we look at this up in here, uh, it, the different parties, how uh, widely do they differ in terms of uh, the economic plans that they have in place in their manifestos here and you know which one is likely to execute the best um, I, I think it's really difficult to, to guess at this point, and I'm sure your, your guess is as good as mine because, you know, um, we do not expect like a one single party to run the government, but there will be like, um, um, like uh, many parties working together. So they have to work on like the policy and I think now it's quite challenging to deliver all those populist policy that they have uh, promised us to, right? Given we are in an environment of rising public debt and also elevated inflation. So I wonder that the sectors that you mentioned, consumer the like, that are, are you think they're likely to drive this rally, uh, will they continue to outperform you think irregardless of who wins uh, this election. Mm. Yeah, I, I think definitely like the consumer sector will um, will drive the rally for sure because, you know, each of the party all have like the cash handout policy or minimum wage high or raising um, benefit for welfare cardholder and also boosting farmer income. So, you know, those in any shape or form all leading to the increasing discretionary uh, income for Thai populations. Um, I mean, yeah, we had, of course, uh, the, the Thai part was one of the worst performers at the start of the year. It's now turned into one of the best uh, out there because of the, mm. uh, the tailwinds coming from tourism. Uh, at what point does the central bank start to get concerned about the level of the BART and where do you see it going? Um, actually, I, I think, you know, now BART has been strengthened quite quickly also. But um, looking at like the inflation level, which the uh, latest number in April has come, the core inflation have come down to 2.7% within the Bank of Thailand um, target range. And then um, even though the real rate is still negative, we expect the Bank of Thailand to hike rate maybe um, only one more hike of 25 basis point in this main meeting. I think, you know, at, at this point, we, we do not worry too much about where the bot is going to go. And then, you know, on the other hand, inflation is also under control.